Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel, and today I will be showing you guys the basics of Premiere Pro CC 2018, so let's get right into it. So once you get it, you'll load up with this screen, so when you load up, you will get this, <clears throat> and you can see I already have a whole bunch of projects here um, that I did. So what we're going to be doing today is how to get started, how to import clips, how to do some basic editing, um, text, and all that fun stuff in today's video. Um, so I'm going to press new project. Here you can name it. I'm going to name mine Top Gear. Because that was that's what mine is about, and here you change the location of where you want it to go. For me, in my case, I want to go. I want it to go to E Drive and Adobe Premiere Done Videos. Um, you don't have to worry about this stuff. This stuff is already done for you. You press OK, and it brings up with the whole thing here. So if you want to import a clip you either right click and import in this in this box down here right click import or you can double click for me I have this video here and here you can see it is 14 seconds long and six frames um, here's the title of it here there's the resolution there um, you can see it's 14.6 uh, seconds, 25 frames per second, 44, 100 hertz um, audio, and compressed stereo. So, it's also an MP4. Formats that do work with uh, Premiere are MP4, AVI. The one I know that does not work is .mts, which I know does not work. They do not support that file. So, that's what my camera records, so I have to go in and change the name and whatsoever. So, what you want to do after you have your clip in here is you want to drag and drop it over here to the sequence timeline. As you can see, your clip is here. You can also double click this, and here is your sequence um, monitor. You can see you can cut out. So, say if I want to um, shorten it up a little bit, I can shorten it up just a bit. And uh, I can start it here. But I want all of it in my case. So, once you have your clip in here, you probably want to do something like add text or, um, or anything like that. Um, so if you want text, you click here and you click on your program monitor. This is your source monitor. This is your program monitor. You would click on your program monitor and type in Top Gear. And what this does is it creates a layer here. As you can see, I can make this layer longer. So it goes the whole video. Or I can make it shorter to go only a little bit of the video. So in my case, I want a whole video. And if I want to move it, you go to the selection tool, you can move it around. So if I say I want it in this top corner, you can drag it down, go in this top corner here. Now if you wanted to change the font or the text or anything, you come up here to where your source monitor is. Then you go to effect controls. You go down to the text you see here you can change it, change your font right here. So say I want Raider STD. See it changed in the top top left hand corner here. It changed or I want Rosewood STD. Um, so that is that. Um, I can do opacity or size. 
Um, you can, if you're familiar with Google Docs, you know this, you can center the text, you can right align, you can left align, um, you can do all these other stuff, you can, um, I don't know what that is. <laughs> and you can do some stuff in Photoshop, like this is some Photoshop skills here. Um, you would want to fill it, make it red. Um, stroke it, and I can put a shadow. Stroke, stroke, I'll make it green. Why not? Stroke is the outline around it. And shadow, I'll make the shadow pink. So let me go through this whole selection of items down here. So, no, get away. Stop. Stop. Bye. So let me go through this selection of items down here. Here, you have your, in the project tab, you have your clips so you can drag and drop into the sequence. The next one over, the next one over is the media browser. This one, it's just an easy, <laughs> it's just an, it's just an easier way to go and find, um, files to import. The next one over is the libraries tab. Now, this is for the Creative Cloud, which I have a cracked version of Premiere Pro CC, so I won't be using this one anytime soon. The next one is the info. This is the info on your clip in what frame rate, what resolution, um, type is a movie, what type of audio, it's a stereo. Um, the next one over is effects, so you can, so there's an effect called barn doors, so you can see it there, um, right here, all I would do is drag and drop that onto the clip, um, and those, and then you can add, um, markers to your clip, if you wanted to, see, and the last thing I'll be doing today is how to cut a clip. So say I don't want half this clip. So say I don't want half this clip, and I want it to end here. I will use this. I will select the razor tool. Then I will click on both layers, this one and that one. Then you can either select both of them, press delete, or select one of them, press delete, and select the other one and delete it. Or I could select both of them and press delete. That'll be it for this episode, getting to know a Premiere Pro CC 2018. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next video. Peace.